What's up, gearheads? So Cesar went ahead and worked on his bus during the weekend, and he's got his engine in. 1600 long block that I pick up from my good friends over at Buggy House. Um, I'm pretty much dressed it up. Got the tin from Hawaiian Gary, if you guys can recall that last video. I uh, went ahead and painted all that, made it look all pretty. And now it's just time to button it up, hook up the electrical, and see if she turns over. <laughs> That you can't get to. So here's the secret on uh, getting the top stud or bolt, sorry, uh, on the, in the engine. All you need is this really, really small friend. You know, they can get in there real good. Piece of cake, baby. Piece of cake is what he's saying. <laughs> it's awesome, dude. I tried to do it so, uh, yes, last night, and I just could not get back in there, man. I gotta lose some weight. Holy shit, how much tightening does this need? It needs to be real, you know, bottom out. Feels like it's really loose. Yeah, I probably got it in there maybe like three, four turns before I gave up. <laughs> Okay, so we got everything mounted that we need to. The bolts are in. We went underneath, uh, replugged back in the uh, the starter motor, um, and then we actually hooked up the battery. And the battery's fine, but look at this cable. So what happened was we have a bad alternator that we actually got. Actually, uh, one of our buddies gave it to uh, Caesar for free, but it ended up being bad and it fried the cable. So have to order a new alternator, which will be here in a few days, and then also got to rebuild this, uh, you know, the the wire for it. So. So we're gonna go work on something else really fast. All right, so onto another project. The uh, um, shifter was really loose; it was just kind of spinning down there, uh, where the ball is supposed to sit. It wasn't uh, wasn't locked in there, so finding gears wasn't easy. So Caesar's gonna get in here, and we're gonna replace that right now and get that all working nicely, since we got time and sunlight and no rain, and we got things to do. Always plenty of projects. We're stuck. We uh, need the alternator. He's sad. Just a sadness face. We were gonna try to fire it up today, but with that alternator being bad, which obviously couldn't test until I mean, it was. Well, I guess we could have tested it out, but it was already in. It was just like, so such excitement to get it in. <laughs> excitement get over me. Yeah. So now we gotta wait till Thursday to get the uh, alternator from uh, the, the shop you ordered it from. Um, none readily available around the Bay Area, so... Yeah, we called several shops, uh, but with no luck. 
one shop did say they they had it, but then when I was going to place the order, he changed his right off the bat. He was oh sorry no no we don't have it available anymore. So that sucks. And now we have to wait, and we got to remove the engine, which I'm not looking forward to. Because last night it took me a long time to put it in, and now it's got to come back out. <laughs> but shifters in. Gears seem to be working okay. It's a lot better than it used to be. It used to spin around and was loose and flimsy and now that's better. He's got some light bulbs he's gotta go get to replace. Other than that, we need the alternator. So we can get back and trying to get this thing fired up, guys. Get it going, man. I'm ready. All right, we'll be back in a few days. What's this do? It looks important. Just clamp. Yeah, but I mean, it's supposed to clamp something. <laughs> I'm sure this clamp was on something. Oh, there it is.